to the next video in today's video i will show you how to do pose landmark detection using media pipe in native android application so first i'll show you the output i have one button and from once i click on this button it opens an image picker and i will select one image uh, like a uh, full body image uh, to de detect the pose landmark and here you can see once i have once i select an image i am able to draw uh, image depending on uh, how the user is standing or sitting depending on his pose that's what this is so yeah let's see how to do this so first um, you will have to uh, create an android project i am using xml layout and uh, if you want you can use jetpack compose as well next you will have to download this model so you will have to go to pose landmark uh, detection go to android go to the click on this model section over here and here from this you can find this tf light model you can use any one of this uh, the heavier one would be bigger in size but it would give you much better accuracy uh, so yeah use whatever makes sense to you once you download any of these three model you will have to go to your android project you have to right click new folder assets folder and click on finish i have already created it and inside the assets folder just drag and drop your uh, tf light uh, model which you have downloaded next you will have to go to build.gradle.kts and here i have added this this dependency for a uh, task vision and uh, this dependency for uh, loading uh, image from an uri inside an image view that's why we are using coil and this is like media pipe dependency now this is new thing in android studio iguana so you will have to go to libs.versions.toml and here you can see i am using uh, this version of task vision and this is our call dependency also you will have to add this bit of code over here and this bit of code over here once you do that you can just click on sync now next insert colors.xml i have added this green color because that's what you see when you draw an overlay over post over a person's pose next i have literally copy pasted this overlay view from the documentation so i'll show you that as well so i'll go back go back to the android section and here you can see they have created this file called overlayview.kt so just copy paste this file basically uh, the, what this file does is that it draws uh, all this uh, pose detections whatever it detects on our image so that's what it is kind of like drawing on a canvas so that's why i won't be able to explain it to you because that's what it does and basically i have just copy pasted it so if you want you can pause the video and copy paste it it's not that big of a file but yeah okay next you will have to go to uh, activity underscore main uh, and here as you can see i have taken one button i have taken one image view and this is the overlay view file which we have created now this package name will differ accord differ for you so in case you are confused you can just type overlay view and it will automatically give you that intelligence you can just click on it uh, next the important part in this uh, uh, layout file is that as you can see the width and height of our image view is same as that of that overlay view as of overlay view as well so if you see i'm assigning the constraint top of of our image view to the bottom of our button similarly i'm doing same thing for overlay view as well so be mindful of that next uh, go to your main activity and here i have created variable for overlay view button as well as image view and here i'm using base options dot builder dot set model asset path and here i have passed our uh, whatever is the name of your uh, tf light model you make sure you pass it over here then i have created our options builder using pose landmarker dot pose landmarker options dot builder and i have used set base options i have set the minimum confidence all this confidence to 0 0.5 but you can use whatever you want number of poses i have kept it to one and running mode is of image then i have used options builder dot options and i have created variable for pose landmarker as well then inside on create i have just initialized our pose landmarker uh, and here i have initialized our overlay view button as well as image view and on button click i am just launching uh, the photo picker and here i have also created one helpful method to scale down the bitmap uh, yeah so once 
the photo picker is opened uh, we get an uri then i move on the io thread of our coroutine and i check if the uri is not null then i create a bitmap out of it and we want a bitmap of argb uh, underscore four times eight uh, that kind of a bitmap so i'm just converting it to it then once we get a bitmap we are scaling it down and converting it to an mp image because that is what is required by pose landmarker then i am calling pose landmarker dot detect mp image which will give us the result and here i am just calling overlay view dot set results and i am passing our results i am passing the height and width of our mp image and here i am just loading our bitmap inside the image view so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye